This problem gives us various quantities in scientific notation. We know it's scientific notation when it's got the, uh, the times 10 to the somethingth power. And the problem asks us to rewrite each of these values, each of these uh, dimensions, using unit prefixes. Those prefixes being like mega, micro, nano, the things you say before the main part of a unit. The trick here is to know which prefix corresponds to which exponent. And you don't have to remember all of them necessarily. You might have a chart with you on hand. It is useful to know them, but it's all right if you need to look it up to cross-check. But as an example of what I mean, in the case of part A, we have 1 times 10 to the power of 6 volts. Now, times 10 to the power of 6, that corresponds to the mega prefix. It means a million of something. So it's saying 1 million volts. So just that alone will tell us that this value is the same as 1 megavolt. And we write megavolt. The mega prefix is usually written with a capital M. So I'll write capital MV, since volt is usually done with a, a capital V. So that's 1 MV, 1 megavolt. And we can do, and we can use that same process as long as we know which prefixes correspond to which exponents. So for part B, we've got 10 to the negative 6. So it's like part A, except a negative 6 instead of a positive 6. Now 10 to the negative 6 is millionth, which is much smaller. So that corresponds to the micro prefix. So it's 2 micrometers. And the micro prefix is used, uh, it uses the Greek letter mu. M. So that is a lowercase mu used to represent micro. And that's part B. Part C is a little weird because we're given the number in units of days. I feel like it's kind of rare, at least in my experience, to see people put unit prefixes in front of days. But uh, so I don't know how common that is. But either way, it's still something that's fairly easy to do in the context of this problem. Because 10 to the power of 3 is the scientific notation for kilo, for 1,000. So we can write this as like 6 kilo days, 6,000 days, or 6 like K days, for example. And that's what we can do for part C. In part D here, we've got 10 to the power of 2. That is done with the prefix hecto. So we can write this as 18 hectobucks, or 18 h-bucks, since h is the, the prefix for that. And part e is probably the trickiest one, because it's 10 to the power of negative 7. Now, as far as I know, to the power of negative 7 isn't uh, an exponent that has a very common um, unit prefix for it. In fact, before I recorded this, I even searched on the internet to see if maybe there's like an obscure one out there that's rarely used, but I couldn't find anything. So I think for this part, you, you kind of have to rewrite the number in some way to get a different, a different way to write it. So one way to do it is to move the decimal, which is right here by default, on the 7 to the left, to rewrite it as 0.7 times 10 to the power of, then it'd be negative 6, because we've decreased the value of the 7, of the coefficient here, which means that the number is going to be bigger. In this case, you can then write it as 0.7 microseconds, because now we've replaced the, the exponent to negative 6, which is something we have a common prefix for. So that is our answer for part E. If you want, you could also take it in the opposite direction and move the decimal two spaces to the right, so that instead it's 700 times 10 to the power of negative 9. In this case, the, the exponent, in this case the number as a whole, gets smaller because we've made the coefficient larger. And in this case, we'd use the prefix nano, which is like a billionth, which corresponds to 10 to the power of negative 9. So we'd write ns here, since a lowercase n is the prefix for nano. So either way, either of those ways of writing the answer to part e are valid. And that just about does it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out, and if you have any questions or confusions, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to help you out. If you'd like to make a request for a future video, I have a Discord server linked in the description down below, 
where I will uh, do my best to respond as fast as I can if you have any questions. That is all for this video, however. So thank you for watching, and ha I hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye.